this huge striper that someone else caught. Montauk is known for their very big striper migration. So we went there for the first time a few months ago. We didn't catch any stripers, but we did see a whole bunch of dead stripers laying on the beach. And they weren't like little ones. I'm talking like 40 pounds. Some of them were pretty clean cut, but others were just ragged, guts falling out of them, and they were just mutilated. It was just a sight to be seen. Fresh rockfish washed up on the shore. The gills are still really red, the eyes are still glassy. This guy's huge, this, this itself is probably 15, 20 pounds. We saw from the bait shop, like probably 50, 60 pictures of people with fish about this size, if not bigger. We didn't know what the hell that was, um, but we asked you guys what that was, and you guys responded very well, and we thank you for answering our questions. Every one of you could be right. And I think there were some pretty interesting theories in there. So we'd like to present to you guys basically what we think happened to these fish. Brett Nicholson says, I live there and it's because people gut them on the beach. So fishermen are catching them from the surf, bringing it in, gutting it and just leaving the corpses. That makes sense for a lot of them because a lot of them were clean cut. Yes. Now, there were some that were completely ragged and looked like it was destroyed by something. Fishing with Henry says that bluefish ate them. Lawrence English here says that they die from stress from being caught and then scavengers eat them. So sharks or bluefish, things with teeth will just come up and pick at them because they're easy because they're weak. We got a comment saying that it could be sea lions who are eating the stripers when they're released. Now when a fisherman catches one of these big striped bass, it takes a while for them to bring it in. It's not just like one and done. Mm -hmm. It's a long fight. So now imagine how tired that striped bass will be after it's caught, right? What happens is the fishermen, whether you're on a party boat or whether you're fishing from the surf, when you release your big trophy fish, it is too tired to run away from other predators. So other animals such as sharks and bluefish and sea lions, it's like a free meal for them. <laughs> I've seen huge, massive fish die-offs before. Um, for example, I was in D.C. one time, uh, just looking at the cherry blossoms, checking out the monument. I look in the water in the Potomac, and there's like thousands of dead shad just floating around. Really? Yeah, it was, it was disgusting. When had, was this? Um, this was a few years back, but I didn't really know what caused that. So I'm wondering, has anybody else out there, have you guys seen a big massive fish die off before? Like just a whole bunch of dead fish somewhere? Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys like this kind of shorter informational video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe below. The Senko Skipper channel connects all sorts of fishing from around the world onto one channel for you lovely people to see. So subscribe below and stay up to date with our adventures. This reminds me, we're going on an ice fishing trip in upstate New York in about a month. And we're wondering who would be interested in coming with us to have a Senko Skipper experience. Now, we'll include fishing rods, we'll include food, and we'll include Airbnb. So this is not just an ordinary fishing trip. We want you guys to experience this with us, and we want to experience it with you. If you come with us, you're going to be in our videos. You could get a video of your own. It's going to be a great experience. We're going to build some relationships, and we're going to have a great time. Who would be interested in joining us? All you got to do is show up. Comment below.